Hello everybody and welcome to World of Tanks with Tanks for the Memories. I've got the last couple of replays from 2019 and they are some high tier games and heavy tanks, tank destroyers and artillery. So uh, join me here for three battles in this video. We are going to be playing the E100, the ISU-152 and the GW Panther artillery piece. So sit back, relax, enjoy the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We've got a bunch of great stuff coming up in 2020 with Sofa Lynn as well as with Lemming Rush and Murder Pauls and some other folks we're going to be playing with this year. So hope you enjoy this battle. Sit back. I'll do a little bit of commentary through the middle of it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. We are in Prokhorovka in the E100 here and we'll go on from there into the fight. So I'm going to play this uh, just like I was in a medium tank. Thanks, Lemming Rush, for teaching me how to play this battle. And we're going to be using a lot of um, uh, high explosive in this. What I, I have a question. Do these new uh, devices and shit that they've strapped on these tanks increase the hit boxes? Do I lose health if I get hit in that any aircraft gun up top? That's a question. I doubt it, but it's a question. Yeah, so we're just about to get spotted here, and this is where I make my first mistake. It doesn't doesn't cost me anything. I get spotted right here, and rather than continuing going forward, which is actually helpful for artillery, I should have immediately jinked to the right or to the left to throw off the aim of the artillery piece, because unless they've got a turreted artillery piece like the French guns, it would have been hard for them to keep track of me uh, moving from one side to the other. Now that I'm not spotted anymore, it, it probably would have thrown off their aim, so, you know, just, just bearing in mind that I made a brief mistake there, but otherwise I came out unscathed, which is pretty lucky, because if, when I play artillery, I'm usually aimed right at this spot, so, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so let's just sit back and watch and see what happens here. So I was seriously considering looping, trying to loop a shell over, since this is high explosive, trying to loop a shell over that guy right there, and I, I didn't do it, and I'm, I'm glad I did, because it would have just wasted the shell, but I really did consider it. And uh, here I'm starting to take shots from uh, from the hill, so it, it's worth it to me at this point to sort of back off and get more towards the middle, and play this like I do in the T-54 where even though I'm a big enough tank that can still see me, their ability to aim well is not quite as accurate as it would be if I were closer to them. So our hill team is lighting these guys up pretty good. They're able to spot a lot of what's going on there, and I'm going to start throwing some shells across um, into that hillside. The, the problem is the gun on this thing is just not all that accurate. It's a big shell and it lobs it a long way, but I am using, um, you know, some, some high explosive and side shots like this. It's fine. It's easy to use. It's great, but they don't travel quite as flat as the um, the other shells do. So I'm gonna have a little bit of frustration. I'm able to get a couple in there, but. It is going to be a little frustrating here. I think that shot that just bounced off me was actually aimed for that T-28 there in front of me or whatever he is. I think it's T-28. Uh, they know that we're shooting at him. But... Oh, so did not penetrate the armor <laughs> against my motherfucking ass. Yeah, right. Um, you just got to keep moving. Make sure you don't make it easy for artillery and don't make it easy for those guys. But our team up there on the hill is spotting like, just like, fantastically. Oh, that come missed. on. See, it looped down. And that's what I was thinking about that doing to the guy on the other side. But it just kind of 
drop down a little too early, didn't quite go over that hill, which really is irritating, but is what it is. Reloaded, time to fire. There we go. Is that fucking guy dead? No, he's not dead. Now I'm spotted again by that TD over there. Taking some hits from those guys on the hill. I'm not sure if they're aiming for me or for the guy that's next to me in that TD, but nevertheless, taking some hits. But it's, it's not terribly dangerous yet. Oh, let him on fire. That's it's always nice. nice. Again, moving back and forth to, you know, make sure I'm not going to be hit by anybody. Nope, just missed him. Come on, reload, 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 please. Ah, oh, damn it, dirt right in front of him. You know, if I'd aimed up a millimeter, it would have gone over his head, so it is what it is, you know. It's a long way to be trying to snipe somebody in this tank. Oh, I fucked that up. <laughs> Son of beach, sheet. Yep, spotted again. If I had been loaded up, I could have hit that guy really well. Something bounced off me. <laughs> Something else bounced off me. I love you. Have fun. Girlfriend comes in to tell me that she's going out with her friends, which means I have the whole evening to play tanks all by myself. <laughs> There's a TD deleted from the game. 3,000 damage. So we're getting up there now. We're getting a decent score. Playing this like a like a medium tank. So that's almost the end of that right there. I mean, there's like two guys left, right? There's the uh, the medium tank that was seen on the far side of the field, and the sort of the one line, and then there's the TD that's on the other side. And I'm thinking that this guy is still over here. Little do I know, he is no longer there. He's actually going to be on the other side. But uh, I'm kind of it over here on this side. So I'm going to head over there and try and find this guy and, and take a shot at him. But he is no longer there. He has been moved to the other side. And by the time I get my tank turned around and get to a point where I could have done anything to him, he's going to be dead and gone. So that's pretty much the end of this fight. Uh, I, had, I really enjoyed it, actually. It was a pretty good fight. I'm okay with this. I did a decent amount I did of damage. Okay. I did okay. And... Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it, so we will get started the next fight here in just a minute. I'm totally happy with this. Totally fine with how this came out. Very cool. Well done. Well done. Yeah, we win some prizes. Yay, prizes. 16 boxes. Well, shit. Four. Very cool. What's in the box? We'll do that later. Look at... Oh, six other boxes. Okay, what's in the box? Cool. Three boxes. Cool. Two boxes. Cool. Cool. 
I will take every bit of that right there. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, those are the T-49. Oh, cool. I put some fucking hurt on that bat chat. Look at that. Amarat gun commander. I fucked that bat chat up. I hit him in the jaw. Let's see what we did on the old E-100 here. Sophie, you'd be so proud of me for this. Look at that. Confederate? Shit. Yeah. Apply. I'll take every bit of that. I did hit the T-57 twice. Oh, no. Just two crits. But good one oh yeah look at that i'm i'm happy with how that worked out using the old uh you know e100 in the middle like a scout like a like a medium tank i'll take the 3000 damage done fucking cool sure very happy with that personal score mark of excellence cool Win eight. That, that's a good win eight number. I will take all that. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. That was quite nice and fun, and I really appreciate it. So, when who's coming up my driveway? Is it like a cop car? It's not a cop car. Who, who's there? Who the heck are you? Who the heck are you in my driveway? What you looking at? What you looking at? I don't know who you be. All up in my driveway. See who you are in my driveway. Why are you pulling into my spot? Can I help you? You're gonna run over my grass, aren't you? People always do that. They pull into my spot and they totally run over all my grass. I don't understand what's going on here. I got a hole in my shirt. Look at that. Little, 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 little belly button hole. Are you parking in my spot? <laughs> well, we'll see what's going on here in a second. Oh, I got boxes. Hello, box. Good map. Good map. Just pray that I have a fucking decent team. Please have a decent team tonight. Let me win this awful fight. I want to play my tanks for you. But I don't want to lose. Have me some artillery. I like to play it not for free. I use gold and eat each shells. That's not the reason I'm going to help. Probably not the spot I should be in. I should probably back up a little bit. But, let's get ready just in case. Hello. Hello. Alright, so we're in the GW Panther. And, uh... Right, now I'm ready. Good open map. I love this. I love this artillery piece. It is such a good artillery piece. I wish it loaded a little bit faster, but it is such a good artillery piece. And like I said, big open map. Pilot? Uh, wow, somebody's playing a fucking... Wow, okay, good for you, man. <laughs> I do like this map. so much for that. I, I do wish that artillery would uh, get more damage, uh, just because it takes so long to reload and the accuracy is so it's bad. Spot him. But you know, it, it is what it is. But I, I do wish that it would uh, either reload faster or give more damage or be slightly more accurate. That's a nice kill there. Happy with that. Try and track this guy down while I reload there. Can we able to get him in time? Nah. 
thank God. Alright. What else can we shoot at? This guy gonna back off the hill? Nah, he pulls forward. This stun stuff is bullshit. Did I fuck him up? I don't think I did. He stunned somebody, you figure he probably did some damage if they're stunned. At least, like, blown a track off or something, but it is what it is. Now turn our attention to the city here for a little bit. See if we can't help those guys out. At this point, the fight's pretty much getting wrapped up. That was probably a hit. It's hard hitting in the city. The buildings are angled in such a way as it is a little difficult. I do like artillery. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of people that don't like this in the game. To me, it's not near as game-breaking as the wheeled vehicles are. Um, you know, but... I, I wish it, uh, even if it had less damage, if it loaded faster and aimed a little bit better, I think it would be a very good leveling uh, mechanic to the game for TDs and counter battery fire and all that sort of stuff against other artillery. I mean, I just, I just kind of feel like, you know, if it takes 30 seconds to reload a piece or 23 seconds or whatever it takes to reload a piece and the accuracy is so bad because the aim time is another 10 or 15 seconds, you're looking at firing one shell every 45 to 50 seconds and you're only getting 300 damage, 200 damage in a shot if you hit. I mean, you know, I, I've got times where I fire, you know, a, a reasonable number of times and I still end up, end up with 1,700, 1,400 damage. And you, you, you kind of feel like it ought to be at least equal in damage to the tanks in the tier that it's playing against, even if not the heavy, like the medium tanks or something, right? And and so I wish they would fix that. I know that, you know, they're actually dumbing down artillery, making it, they're nerfing it even more, so it's going to be less damaging than it was before, and I, I, I hate that, but it is what it is, so... Anyway, we won that fight. Let's check out the post-game stats, and then move on to the last battle. That was a good fight. That was that was that was okay. Damage on the IS-3. How did I do there? Seventh place. I mean, here's the problem. Well, no, that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Five damaged. Stuns cost seven for 77 seconds. Nah, I'll take it. I'm okay with that. That's cool. Where are we at? Oh, well. All right. So we still have this thing for 100%. And let's add that's an orderly ammo rack to it. And let's give this a fight, right? We gotta build our crew up in this shit anyway. So let's give let's give the uh, ISU one five two the old college try. But who are you? Negative negative Ghost Rider. So I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this or not, but I've started to get a lot of people random people just trying to platoon up with me in the game right in the beginning. That didn't used to happen. It's I've noticed it more since I've come back in to play the game that random people, not even like the same sort of style of vehicle or anything, are trying to join up and platoon with me in random battles. And, I mean, I get when people would do it at the end of the battle, like if they had three and I had three and we could team up together and get like some sort of platoon reward for it, but, like, in the beginning of the match, when some uh, tomato tries to platoon up, the fucking guy's gonna take me out. I don't know what to think of it. Anyway, um, so this is a weird match. I wasn't really sure where to go in this fight or what to do. I got spotted right off the bat, and uh, that kind of was irritating by that stupid wheeled guy. 
Oh, I missed. I went right over his head. So at this point, I'm getting a little intoxicated. You can probably tell by my voice, but... Uh, yeah, fuck down. <laughs> they totally fucked our play up. Yeah, it was... That was I really was, well done, guys. Well was, done, enemy team. Fucked our play right up. Let's try to go somewhere. And, Those but, fucking guys fucked our play all up. <laughs> I feel a little, a little salty about it, but... It, it all works out in the end. Man, I was trying to get somewhere, and he spotted me right off the bat. Totally disrupted where I was going and what I was doing, and everybody else on my team as well. We all stopped to hit the fucking shiny object. So, well done to that uh, EBR driver, whatever the hell he is. He irritated the shit out of me. There you go. Fuck you. But bitch. that is the end of him. So now we can move on and do other things. Thank God. Those guys are so disruptive to the game. I mean, people will learn how to play against them eventually, but, like, at least early on, now, they are so disruptive to the game because people haven't figured out how to, number one, ignore them when you're moving into where you're supposed to be, and two, how to lead them accurately because they're so maneuverable and so fast. So anyway, enough about those guys. That was a good hit. I'll take that. I'm gonna reload. So this is a weird fight. I'm kind of not where I want to be, but I know at this point the battle on that side has developed and I can't really get over there and do anything. So I'm just kind of hanging out here wasting time. It's pretty frustrating. Um, but I'm not spotted and so I don't really want to try and move somewhere where I have to swing this big dick around and try and hit stuff that I can't really... I'm not maneuverable enough to do. So I'm uh, just kind of hanging out here for the moment hoping somebody will come around that corner of that rock down there. Right there. I want somebody to come around that corner. So I'm going to spend a little time waiting to see if anybody comes around that corner, and it's not really going to do much for me. Can I hit anybody on the hill? We're going to take a look. And we can't. There's somebody behind a rock up there, so there's nothing we can do about that. And that guy's not cresting the hill, so can't really do anything about him gonna wiggle the rock a little bit. No, nothing there. That's other, I, barely, but I wasn't enough to do anything with. So, turning back to this side, see if we can't hit somebody around this rock. If he comes around the corner, but he's not going to. I keep hoping he will, and he's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna have to move here. I'm, I'm just trying to screw up the courage to move at this point. I should have already moved. I should have gone up there. He's just not going to come around. And at this point, I'm just wasting time. People are slinging a lot of lead, and I am not. I do not have my gun in the fight. And that is a bad thing. I should have my gun in the fight at this point. So, we're finally going to move up. He's dead. Can't hit him. Oh, well, shit. This thing is actually a fast TD. I mean, it doesn't turn the best, but it's a pretty fast TD. We pretty much wiped him off the field, except for those guys here underneath this dirigible and the folks left down by their cap. So, you know, if, if I want to get any more damage, I better get into it right now because I wasted it tremendous amount of time sitting there on that hilltop.
All right. Nice so there game. we go. Nice game, people. I got a scout. And I got artillery. In a fucking TD. In a ISU-152. Scout and artillery. That is a full circle of life right there, people. Full circle of life. Hanya, come on ya, banan manya, SU-152. Yes, sir, please, I will take that. Thank you very much. Very cool. Happy to help. Glad to be part of the team. Well done. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Okay, so that is all of the special things. All right, so... That was three high-tier fights in a heavy tank, an artillery piece, and a TD. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Welcome to 2020. This is Tanks of the Memories with World of Tanks Replays. I am really excited about what's coming up this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are looking forward to what's to come in 2020. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos, and stay tuned. We've got a whole bunch more coming up. Thanks, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.